<laughs> You're listening to Real to Real with Coach Herb and B, a podcast that brings you community and culture with your host, Coach Herb and B. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Real to Real. And um, my name is Coach Herb. <laughs> And home, my homegirl B and the hidden guy is Mr. Ben. What's up, and y'all? We're going to be talking about health and fitness. That is correct. We got try, try uh, a friend of ours, ours, David, on here. David Clary, introduce yourself, man. What's going on, y'all? I'm David Clary, and uh, I've been, um, you know, been training in the field for about. Cool, about 10 plus years now. So, um, you know, just here to provide as much knowledge and, you know, any other questions that they might have for me. Um, I'm obviously representing uh, my my fitness business, I King of Fit, uh, right here, right? Ah, uh, nice, nice. I need but, to get but, one of them but, shirts. But, <laughs> <laughs> I need one of those shirts so I can look fit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, they, 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 do, they do fit pretty well, you know? So, you know, just... Just the look might make you uh, change things up. <laughs> right, right. And this exactly. this makes me feel whatever's on the side over here makes me feel like I'm about to lose a little weight. That feels <laughs> it's slimming. All on the, the shoulders, sides. right? Yeah. All in the shoulders. <laughs> the shoulders, yeah. shoulders and get that, get that, get that slim, uh, tight fit of uh, shirt. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, right. That'll hold your breath the whole time. I'm not sure. I love it. So tonight, <laughs> um, like, so you uh, said, you said you've been doing it for about how long? For about 10 plus years now. Um, oh my God, you I don't even look that old, man. You started when you were 15? <laughs> I wish. Um, so I, I originally, so I went to Howard University and I got my degree okay. from there. I got my degree uh, in, in, in uh, human performance. And right after I graduated, I just started training. Um, and so that was uh, in 2012, but about two years before then, prior to that, I was just kind of like, you know, training my classmates and just friends and stuff like that. Um, and then, once again, right after I graduated was when I really became official official um, and started to, you know, work at gyms and uh, just started to do my own thing. And a couple of years back, I, you know, decided to just really set my own business. Now, outside okay. of that, I have been, I have been working at different gyms um, from the YMCA uh, to okay. cur- currently right now, I'm at, uh, at Equinox Sports Club in, uh, in downtown DC right next nice. to uh, George Washington University. So um, that's where I'm at right now, like full time. But mm-hmm. as of right now, as of as of today, like at King of Fit is kind of my other entity and which really kind of actually given me a good source of, of income through this, yeah. uh, this little <laughs> pandemic that we got going on here. <laughs> right, right, right. So how how long was the, um, the your business, I mean, your company shut down or are they, are they back open? Yeah, so uh, Equinox, uh they closed so dc they, they closed in dc pretty much went on that stay at home order so that was like mm-hmm. march early yeah. march i do believe mm-hmm. <laughs> and um yeah we we were closed that entire time now i will say that i'm i'm very blessed to be a part of equinox's uh, company because they were giving us as trainers emergency pay so we were still getting paid during nice. uh, during during the during the process during this whole stay at oh home wow order. Uh, yeah, that's so, nice. Yeah, def- definitely blessed to be a be you know a part of the company. Equinox has taught me a lot. I would honestly say they're probably the best gym in the country, <laughs> uh, just with every, all this resources and everything that they provide to their uh, to the trainers is is top notch. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So, uh, but yeah, yeah. So they um and they're, they're very aesthetically pleasing. Um, they I think they are very fancy. <laughs> they are very, very fancy. I will say that okay. much. Like, it seems like they get some new equipment or something new almost every they put two to three months. eucalyptus in their towels. They're, it's more than <laughs> they, they put eucalyptus on everything. Like, it's just, oh, wow. it's like from the from the steam rooms to mm-hmm. like, spas. Spas are like top notch. Like, mm-hmm. it's everything in Equinox is is the Equinox, the epitome of like things. Oh yeah. Top notch. Oh yeah. Um, the booze yeah, of the know, booze. So, Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I love it. I love you know? it. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna get right into it. So we're, let's get real, y'all. Um, let's see what Mr. Ben has for us tonight, as far as how we're gonna go with this. Because I want to know about fitness myself. You know. <laughs> yeah. I put on some quarantine pounds. Thanks so much, Coach. 
Um, so kind of the first question, which is uh, for the group, obviously, um, you know, not to say that we're not in the height of the quarantine still, because I know life is still disruptive, but, um, you know, maybe while you were furloughed or maybe while you had some time when everything was still kind of locked down, we're not, you know, in Virginia, we're in phase three now, technically Maryland and Virginia, I think, or Maryland and DC might be in like phase two area, phase one, maybe even still in DC. So were you guys able to find time at home? With, you know, obviously, Bianca, I know you have uh, the family life going on at home during that time. Coach Herb, I know your kid's a little bit older, so I think that might be kind of a mystery to ask what you guys uh, were able to get done. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I guess if you're talking about exercise. Herb did more I, than I did. I, I, yeah, I was. Um, I did a lot. Um, I did a lot of hiking. I did a lot of um, walking. Um, then I bought a bike. So I've been doing a lot of biking and um, trying to stay fit, but it's, it's hard to like duplicate duplicate uh, going to the gym. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's really it's really hard, and you know you can try doing stuff at home, but it's not as as um, intense, I guess you would say. Mm -hmm. I tried to do some of those uh, like virtual wellness classes that yeah. I was providing. Oh my yeah. God. So like there was a Tabata class that Joe Webb, a friend of ours, also a trainer at the Y, like he taught one of those classes and I thought I was going to pass out. I, <laughs> I was going to die. My kids also tried to join in, which was super cute, but we just found ourselves like walking a lot more than we did anything else. I decided to eat a lot during <laughs> quarantine. So I don't know. Going back to work was so much better because I've lost probably around like 10 to 11 pounds since being back at work. So, oh, nice. yeah. yeah, we need to be out. We need to be stuck in the house. Yep. Yep. <laughs> What'd you do, Dave? Mm -hmm. So, uh, honestly, uh, you know, I've been a trainer, like, I, I shouldn't say being a trainer, right? Like, you, you think a trainer is going to be working out all the time, but some trainers just don't. Like, they just they do their programming and then they just kind of go on with their day. But I know just in general, my health is the most important thing. So uh, me and my fiance have been uh, just trying to work in uh, doing jogs around the, our neighborhood. Uh, but I do my own personal body weight routines. Um, and Herbert, you know, that's one thing that, you know, you could think about is those mm -hmm. body weight, body weight routines are, can be just as effective. And Bianca, just like she just mentioned, they, they can be just as hard, you know, ultimately, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if you're in a group class or in, if you're in a gym, you're still working out. And in certain cases, people do bodyweight workouts in the gym and they could do that at home. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there, and there's 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 a, a, a library, a multitude amount of different exercises that you could do. But um, I also I also had some equipment at home. Thank God uh, before this all happened. So. I was able to, you know, hit some strength workouts as well, along with the, uh, you know, cardio routine um, with the jogging or jumping rope or anything like that. Just, you know, get the heart rate moving and, and you know, keep the blood flowing. Nice. So you got some, some Equinox dumbbells and stuff. Oh, no. Uh, they'll, they, they are not going to let me take those home. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Okay. All but, right. But I, but I will say, I will say Equinox's training has given me some, some good ways to incorporate different body weight uh, workout routines on top of my okay. own experience, right? Like I, I, I just started at Equinox about a year or so ago. Um, but I've been, like I said, okay. training for, for, for many years before then. And so just in general, my experience, like I've worked in the sports realm, I worked in the rehab realm. Like I wake up sometimes like, you know, from sitting down all day, uh, my, my neck might be tight or my back might be tight uh, after I wake up in the morning. So thankfully, I, I have the knowledge base of like different mobility techniques to help me release my tension and, and all okay. that. So, you know, all, all that's definitely been helpful. And I've been, you know, just also getting like continuing education credits as a trainer. So, you know, just nice. as, as ways to, you know, continue to build um, my, my, my level of experience while I'm, I'm mm -hmm. stuck inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, have you guys, were you able to experience or uh, try different things that you might not have? I know B, you, you briefly kind of mentioned the whole Tabata thing. I don't know if you did that prior to, uh, you know, COVID and the quarantine or this is your first no, uh, to try. Not really. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> that'll be, that'll be no. <laughs> 
Mm, not really. No, I think I took a class one time and I looked at the rest of them and I was like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> it's, it's intense. And, but I felt like I had to do something while yeah. I was And so I was like, any chance I can try to turn on that class yeah. program on FB? Why not, right? So will I keep doing it? Yes. Did I do it before? No, I didn't. <laughs> So now, uh, obviously, gyms are starting to open back up across the DMV. It's not just, obviously, uh, us at the Y. We've been uh, open now in Virginia at least for a month. But I, I know Mar uh, DC's just kind of started to reopen everything like that. Um, how do you guys feel about going to work back out in them? Do you feel safe? Do you first want to go, you know, check out how they how they kind of have the floor laid out, if they really made monumental changes, or if they're just basically – expecting people not to show up so then that way their numbers are lower um i if you don't mind me asking i'll put chiming in on this one uh just as a as a trainer once again equinox just opened up about uh two weeks ago today. Hey, nice. uh so uh, experiencing like i've gone into the gym already like uh in as a trainer they want all of us to do like a floor shift so we're pretty much, you know, we're walking around, making sure people are, you know, social distancing enough and, you know, they have their masks on. So like, that's a requirement. I'm sure requirement with all gyms. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, it, it definitely, I, I feel safe because I, for one, there aren't that many people in the gym anyways. Um, and people okay. are aware of that, you know, that social distance concept. Like if somebody feels like they're getting too close to somebody on like the stretch mat, they'll like space themselves out. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a lot of I'm seeing a lot of people wiping like legit wiping their their the bench down or the or the the cord down right after they're done with the workout. Whereas uh, before then nobody would do it. They would just you know get Isn't their that wild? Off, get their sweaty self off the bench and then just leave. You know, with, um, with so, sweat dripping all over, right? Sweat dripping so all over the place. So gross. <laughs> and so, but you know, there, I, I definitely see a lot more people doing that as well. So um, uh, overall, I I would say that. I do feel safe, um, and going back, like, I'm, obviously, I've already gone back, so I'm pretty comfortable now, but I can understand how people don't feel comfortable right now, right. just because of the level of contact is, like, the whole thing of, like, it could potentially be in the, it, it could be airborne now, like, mm -hmm. people, doing, people doing vigorous workouts, you know, whether they're on the treadmill or doing, like, a, a heavy workout, like, mm -hmm. that can be, you know, detrimental, too, so. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a, my little piece about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. We've been back and I feel, I don't know, I feel pretty safe, right? I feel, I feel safer than I did before. <laughs> I feel real safe. I feel like nothing, I mean, all we do is just clean when we're at the gym. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. Now, I feel like it's just a lot more cleaner than it's ever been in general and people are just yeah. really aware and it's kind of weird that it took the coronavirus to make people clean yeah. <laughs> like, like before <laughs> you would be like all right wipe your machine down like could you wipe after you work out right and then like now like it's just like an instant like uh, -uh where's the sanitizer wipe or where's the spray or i know i know you know right. before you used to be like what you are you are dripping all over <laughs> oh no, wipe, so wipe so this so down <laughs> yeah and now they're yelling at each other talking about that person doesn't have their mask on <laughs> oh that you know? oh that person yeah. didn't wipe down the equipment and i'm like right. well, i got it don't worry about it okay <laughs> all right cool but like yeah i feel a lot safer and i don't know this whole like i look at it like this if you are going into a grocery store if you're going into any other environment besides your home and like you feel like you're putting yourself into that environment and you should just feel safe <laughs> mm -hmm. right yeah. like I don't know. I mean, without thinking about it, but you do have to also be wary of where you go into, like, because I think, like, like at the Y right now, I think we're probably it's probably the cleanest it's ever been. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's and it's 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 a credit to 
the administration and it's the credit to us that we are conscious of that, but it's so rare to see how many people are like, okay, now I have to make sure that I wipe stuff down. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll take care of your own and then it'll take care of you, you know? So you clean before you get on the equipment, you clean after you get off the equipment. Mm-hmm. And it just, it actually helps you hopefully program your mind so it becomes a second nature right. going forward, you know? Mm-hmm. So that'll be that'll be good. I think I think it's a it's a win win. You know, I never put so much dag on hand sanitizer on in my life. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Man, that's real though. It's, it's starting to be can like you, lotion. Can, you, can your hands get, <laughs> get get pringly and with with yeah. hand sanitizer? Like, is like that, it gets so is weird. It's, it, it gets it's, it's so now it's crazy. It's, saturated. it's crazy. <laughs> I put I put hand sanitizer on, and then my my hands are not dry anymore. It's kind of weird. Like it's it's sucking all the oil out of somewhere. You know, you Maybe got that from my bottle, forehead to my you got hand. that bottle of lotion and praise the Lord, you got that bottle of lotion because I feel oh, like I know, right? in my mind as much like how many pair of gloves we got to put on and yeah. how many times we got to wash our hands and whatnot. I feel like a prune, but that's yeah. right. that's all right though. That's all right. Better be safe than sorry. That is true. Yeah. Well, the the next kind of uh, point, since we you know we do feel sounds like collectively we feel kind of more comfortable being uh, in a gym setting. I know, uh, you know, David probably have, feels a certain way about this question, but um, definitely, you know, how do you feel about personal training? I know uh, for us, the Y has just now started to bring in one of our personal trainers who has a client here and there. Um, you know, some people are apprehensive because you do have to be, you know, pretty close with the trainer. You can't really. Uh, just do it on your own. They need to instruct you, help you, and, and kind of show you the correct ways to do things and stuff like that. So how do you guys feel about, um, you know, personal training now starting back up? Since you already feel comfortable going into the gym, how do you feel about, you know, getting, uh, being close with your personal trainer again? You go ahead, man, because I ain't got uh, no- I think that's, yeah, okay. I, was, uh, I don't have a right. personal trainer. <laughs> the personal trainer I got is... Uh, you guys take this a week, Dave. You guys yeah, take this a week, Dave. I was going to let one of y'all take it over first because I took it over last time. But, uh, Ooh, but yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> but just but with, with, with personal training, like it's, okay, so I'll say this. In the, in the beginning of this stay-at-home order, I was, I was in like, I was in a state of, not confused, like I was in a state of unknown because I didn't, I was so used to, being directly with an individual especially with people's mechanics if they've just started working out or mm-hmm. if they've been working out and they still need that like extra little fix that nitpicking fix um mm-hmm. that you know or allow for me to be like i'm very like hand, like hands-on like you know i want you to tuck your knee in, so let me tap you on the outside of your knee to make sure that you can feel that um and now that that's taken out uh i had to really adapt to the virtual realm and i I'm able to adapt to it. Like I've, I've been able to do these Zoom meetings and um, do other like little virtual training software. Uh, ultimately, as long as you have the basic idea of how a person should be doing the workout, and as long as you have a clear screen or, or a clear um, window, mm-hmm. then you know, if you, it, just looking at them from the front, looking at them from the side, looking at them from the back while they're doing the exercise and directing the person like, hey, you know, I, I, if you could turn to the side so I could see you do your squat, just to make sure that your body isn't you know, folding forward or your heels aren't coming off the floor or can I see you from the front to make sure that, you know, your knees aren't buckling in. It's as if I was still there, you know? Um, once again, I, I can't use my hands, right, to direct them, you know, pull your shoulders mm-hmm. up. I can't tap them mm-hmm. on the shoulder, but I can just, I can keep on telling them like, hey, just directing them, keep your shoulders back, pull them back a little bit more. Uh, and I recognize actually that it's just the same, uh, you know, yeah. outside, of, uh, outside of me actually being there, um, I, just the direction is the most important thing. As long as the person understands what I'm talking about, uh, then, and I'm clear about it, then yeah, it hasn't been that hard. I, I, I wish people would, more people who either have had personal trainers or are into personal training mm-hmm. know that because, uh, you know, you could still get a quality workout from any type of video streaming uh, service with the right okay. professional. Fitness professional. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Right. Yeah, yeah. You can't have me or train you. 
<laughs> not your best friend well, that that, yeah. that that worked out this Instagram this Instagram exercise <laughs> and say, hey girl, let's do this because it looks cool and it looks like you're doing it right <laughs> until your back starts hurting. No, make sure you have right. somebody who knows what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah. So um, see, that's why. Uh huh. Go ahead. Oh, all you heard. So that's why I don't even do that, like um, beach body workouts and everything, because I know I got to be doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. They're talking about you know tuck, yeah. jump tucks and run in place and do the do this air you know these air squats and I'm like yeah okay I'm I'm bobbing <laughs> my head I I know that's <laughs> I know it's all yeah. wrong because right. you feel it after a while you're like hold up man why is my neck in such pain because <laughs> you try to do that so workout I, by yourself by yourself watching a video. And, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the thing is, is that there's no, and that's, I think personal trainers are still important because they are well versed in instruction as well, you know, mm -hmm. and that's, that's really what it's all about. So I think that um, that industry is still going to be very, very um, well needed. Um, Definitely. So. Definitely. I hope your business and your clientele still stays up, man. Yeah, definitely. Pretty sure you got more, right? Because now people are at home and they're like, you know what? I really don't want to be at home and gain a whole bunch of weight or, you know, I really need to take care of myself knowing that I'm going to be at home for however long. So why not <laughs> get a yeah, chance no. to yeah, bring this into my day? And yeah, no, I mean, just to add on to that, people – like a lot of the members like people who i've actually got for my private sessions mm -hmm. they have told me that like this is actually better for them because they don't have to worry about traveling going through traffic to get mm -hmm. to the gym to meet up with me or they don't have to worry about whatever any other excuse like whether we meet up in the morning or whether we meet up in the middle of the day uh, you know they're able to especially at home like some people like they don't have any equipment and that's perfectly fine like I give them a quality workout either way mm -hmm. and it, and they, they recognize the benefit of it and they're like oh this is this is the new way like this is the future right here because y'all got no more excuses right. <laughs> yeah. all y'all people, people that like to travel and that like to to go out of town for whatever business uh now i can, can still be still. with you yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's a new it's a new way but this this has changed this has changed the game a little bit actually mm -hmm. i think you know Definitely. Um, obviously, you know, like you said, equipment is going to be the major cog in it. But yeah, you know, like you know, a lot of personal trainers do do know how to make that adjustment on on yeah. how to like use body weight and all of that stuff. But yeah, and and, and yeah, even I don't have anything. And I, I I tell people just get a pack of resistance bands from Amazon. You know. Mm -hmm. so I, uh, you can go on any, any, you can type in anything really. You can just go on Google, right? And just type it in. There might be things on Etsy.com or whatever. Mm -hmm. I have a resistance band set. And even that, you know, can give you a, a quality workout comparable to like weights at the gym, whether it's dumbbells or, you know, barbells or anything like that, if you're doing it correctly, you know? Yeah. No, that, was an un that, was, that was an unsolicited, unsolicited plug right there, Amazon and Etsy. Yeah. <laughs> Low key, low key they list. Better, they better send you a check. <laughs> hey, her, boy, you, can, uh, you can go ahead and have somebody incorporate a, a, a log like we saw. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can, go, you can go in your backyard, cut down a tree, and, and, and carry, the, carry that around. Hey, hey, that's, hey. You'd be surprised what what you have in your home that can be used as equipment from well, like well, a box. We've, we've, we've seen it. We've yeah, seen some interesting know, from, workouts from from couches from couches to like yes. jugs of water. Yes. Like <laughs> I've seen some we crazy saw, things. Let me tell you while while we were out, we saw somebody carrying a whole tree. We saw someone <laughs> uh, doing gymnastics. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. <laughs> Ring set they they they, they came up. with a ring set, set it up on like a beam, and they were doing, you know, front flips, back flips. Yeah. Wow. Like yeah, just like holding themselves. Like, I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. Oh. Good this for them, though. Sad. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Good for them. It's getting interesting. More power to them. Yeah. yeah. 
So Bianca, wow. I know um, you and I kind of had a little bit of a conversation uh, prior to the episode this week, and we were talking about how there are certain uh, groups, ethnicities, races, creeds that um, have more health issues than other mm -hmm. ones. And um, it's kind of one of the main factors why we were really happy to have David on this week was to also kind of talk in, uh, about ways that we can maybe promote fitness or wellness mm -hmm. to those those people who you know who struggle who maybe already have it um not necessarily uh born with it but that they have a subconscious kind of blocks that are in their way to get them to be you know the best version of themselves so uh would you guys be able right. to talk a little bit more about how we can maybe help those people and, and try to keep them motivated promote fitness and make sure that everyone is kind of on the same playing field i'm big into uh, like diabetes prevention because you know in our African-American community we already know we are like we're prone to get a lot of the diseases like heart disease diabetes so things like that so like I would like to know what what do we need to do and this is this goes for every race though but what do we need to do as African-Americans to make sure that we're taking care of our health in certain ways that we know you know, other races are already yeah. doing. Does that make sense? Did I, did I word that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, that, sure. that, makes, that makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. Uh, I think one thing that I've recognized more to, to us, to you mm -hmm. know, the African-American race, I think we have to find some sort of community basis of to, to connect better and to have that, 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 that understanding because a lot of people affiliate diabetes to um like not not just your genes but they they, they some people don't really know the the root cause of it or they mm -hmm. don't know what it is they just know that they have it like they they're, right. they're a doctor they go to the doctor the doctor says you got diabetes and so you got to right. take this medication and then you got to go on right but like right there was like if there was a community or if there was uh, like, and, and obviously you got, you got the YMCA and you got all that, but just like a, a deeper connection or something like that. So that or a, a, a doctors, trainers, uh, nutritionists, yeah. all who have that understanding from, because you know, those are the things that kind of run in the African, like are more prominent in the African American community um, for us to talk about it and for us to actually, and for us to like, like actually talk to the person because mm -hmm. no, no offense, no offense to any other races, but like, you know, sometimes like uh my my uncle down in 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 southern virginia he's very country and like he's going he sees that white coat um and or he sees the person who is not of the same race talking mm -hmm. in a whole other language to him and he's not going to understand what he's talking about and he might give him some weird terminology that he just doesn't understand and he probably doesn't even talk in the same language like people down south or in the country talk a whole other language than people up north like you know what i'm saying like this is a whole different dialect and so mm -hmm. just like that, con that, that, that type of connection, I think is, is important for, for everybody to have and so that people can understand that diabetes is more than just like a sugar disease or whatever yeah. like, nickname yes. that they, that they yes. call it, you know? It's like, they call it the sugar, right, exactly. The sugar, yeah, the sugar, right? So like, you know, I think <laughs> they, 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 you know, needs to be proper education and you can't just learn everything off Google either, right? Like there has mm -hmm. to be an actual professional um, telling you about this is what's going on and what you need to do to prevent it and the medication that you're on yes it can help out but you know you got to do other things like activity and eating healthy and all the extra mm -hmm. stuff that are as important um, to you know get you on medication is a suppressor that's all that is it's not yeah. it's not exactly. something that exactly. actually yeah so David what are some common misconceptions that maybe about personal training that you would like to you know try to dispel here and now so that way you know hopefully people do feel more comfortable coming out there and improving themselves and not realizing that it's they're being judged necessarily yeah and and kind of kind of tagging on to what we just talked about in relation to like the diabetes and heart health um a lot of people think that all they need to do to become healthy and or to even lose weight is just to focus on their diet uh and yes dieting is extremely important but you have to exercise, you have to be active. You can't just uh, settle with having a, a, a good diet um, because yes, the whole concept of uh, caloric deficit working, at, at you, have, you have a certain amount of calories and if you eat less than that calorie, 
you will lose weight. And if you eat more than your calorie intake, you will gain weight, right? That's the whole entire concept in science. It's proven it will work. Uh, but you're not going to get the tone that you're looking for, or you're not going to increase your endurance, your, your cardio intake, or whatever it might be, your, your, oxygen, your oxygen intake uh, for a workout, for you know, increasing your cardio workout. So you have to have some sort of activity. And once again, working out helps you, it helps with blood flow, right? So like it's in, you're strengthening your heart muscle, which is the, one of the most important muscles of your body, right? Eating is not really going to do that. Eating is just going to help you flush out the intoxins, allow your system to, yes, have the proper, the, the right energy levels and everything like that. But you want to have that extra, you know, supplemental activity to increase your blood flow or to allow your lung capacity to increase or even to increase your energy along with, uh, along with uh, eating. So uh, that's one thing, dieting. But on the other end is exercising. A lot of people think that all I need to do is just exercise and I can eat whatever. You know, mm -hmm. like I've, 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 I've trained people that have, have been that way. Like they'll yeah, exercise. Trust me. They'll, I hear that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like <laughs> exercise. Sometimes I do that myself. <laughs> Hey, and hey, you know, I'm just kind of speaking to some people on, on the side, you know, but <laughs> but but, the, but it's, it's the it's the truth, and you know, ultimately, I think just just as humans, you know, we it's not it's not that we don't want to commit. I think it's the concept of committing to to a whole bunch of things is what throws us all off. Like mm -hmm. I think it, the when when you're when you're stuck in a in a in a mindset, and you know you're comfortable there, and then you know that it's probably not the best state of mind, like you know you eat unhealthy and you know you don't exercise, but you know you need to do both. Doing one is good enough for you and not doing the other isn't. And so sometimes like it's hard to find that balance, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and so like, you know, not rushing into things is, is, is very, very important. But once again, like, you know, like I said, so exercising without the proper nutrition can be just as detrimental as not exercising at all. You know, like if you're not eating correctly after you work out, before you work out, uh, donuts all day between uh, 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 the high sodium diet to and there's nothing wrong with donuts. I'm just throwing that out there right now. Uh, the, don't don't say it. I I'm the, I'm the type of trainer that that if you eat donuts, I'm not gonna like scold you or anything like that. There are benefits of donuts, but I'm not gonna get into that right now. Um, oh, that's a whole but, episode. Right? <laughs> hey, what, what, that could be a what? whole other episode. <laughs> but. I like to hear that one. Yeah, the <laughs> benefits of donuts. Yes, but but, the, but those are certain things that you know. I that some people just have to understand. You have to find that that balance. You have to make sure that you are eating healthy, with the right with, with the right macros, proteins, fats, and uh, and carbs, and you know obviously exercising correctly. The recommended is at least two strength days during the week, and at least three like strength workouts during the week, whether that's body weight or any type of modality like resistance. Uh, resistance workouts like resistance bands or you know dumbbells or anything like that and three days of actual cardio endurance workout cardio. so yeah whether you know, whatever cardio is to you right so like jogging for a long period of time or swimming mm -hmm. or you know biking, biking you know those are all or hiking you know just like what you're doing herbert you yeah. know those are all mm -hmm. getting active you know essentially getting outside <laughs> having some form of vitamin d as well you know just allow yourself to build yes. up the phone like that's a great way to build up bone mass and that's what makes you healthy as well. So like all of that combined together, I think has, is, is what we have to focus on. But those are the slight little misconceptions that I've, I've found out well, that, mm -hmm. that, I've, that I've gathered, you know, over the, over the years. But one other thing yeah. is, is, is it's, a, it's a term called spot training where like people say, oh yeah, I'm going to get these six pack abs by doing a whole bunch of crunches. Right. Okay. And, uh -huh. Crunches are good, but that's the concept of spot training. Spot like like you're spotting your abdom your, your your abdominal region to increase your core. That's what really people are looking for. They say, "Oh yeah, I want to get the six pack abs," but what they're really trying to do is they want to build their core strength up, right? And so you're not going to build core strength up by doing crunches. You're going to build core strength up by doing like complex exercises or or an exercise that incorporates more than just your abdominal region. So a plank, okay. for instance, is a perfect core, all-encompassing core-based exercise that everybody should focus on over crunches. Now, I do crunches in my exercise routine because that's a way to, like, I want them to feel their abs as they're doing 
as they as they continue to do a complex exercise like a squat mm -hmm. or or whatever it might be um but the like sticking to a whole bunch of bicep curls and a whole bunch of uh crunches and um doing like shoulder raises and stuff like that it's not going to help you lose the weight that you're looking for or it's gonna, not going to help you tone up you might yeah, you might feel your stomach and you might see some things pop up, but the mm -hmm. obliques around around the uh, abs, they're not getting any, they're not getting any love. So they're not going to be built up. So it's just like, you're not really doing anything. You're just like, at the end of the day, moving, you know? So that the concept of spot training is once again, where you're just doing one exercise for one mm -hmm. muscle group and you expect the result to come out when it really doesn't. You need to combine everything. Okay. Are so hard. <laughs> 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 I know, I, and I know I said a lot, and I, I could continue to go on, but but once again, this is it's it's, it's there there are you know I've I've been in the field for a while, and you know I think that it's it's very important that you know people have a, uh, an understanding of how to build their proper workout routine that hits the proper mm -hmm. muscle group mm -hmm. at the at the same at the same time, not just doing shoulder raises like do shoulder raises. And then also add like a squat into it or add a squat right afterwards, you know? Um, right. So <clears throat> what what's your um I what's your thought on like supplements? I'm not talking mm -hmm. about like something that like, you know, because I've heard people, oh yeah, you know, I do pre workouts mm -hmm. to get me going or um post workouts or even, you know, try the natural way of you know, drinking a, a, a good juice with all sorts of um, other stuff in it to try yeah. to help them get going. Mm -hmm. um, what's your What's your view on that, uh, as far as um, pe you know? For yeah, on, on the people who, that you have a healthy to, yeah, alternative. Like, so I'll say this: I don't have anything against it, and in certain cases where people aren't like, for instance, uh, vegans. Uh, don't have they, they they don't have the right amount they, they they can have but they don't eat the same quality amount of protein as a person who has a meat based diet. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and this is this is just a, a brief example, but I would suggest that somebody add in like more supplemental protein powder into their diet because they need this and or have more iron based and maybe even take an iron pill because in certain cases iron is the, the 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 micronutrient iron is very essential for like blood flow and allowing us to just be healthier um mm -hmm. for in general it increases our energy but it also you know allows our, our bloodstream to take the oxygen to the muscles right but that's going to be predominantly in meat-based diet because meat okay. is going to have a high source of iron but plants are going to have a lower source but you can still get iron from like different plants like beets right. and, beets and stuff, uh, right? just, just stuff like that but it's not going to be as as higher quality right as what you would get in like red meat you know uh so that, no, that, that's just like like i said a brief example like if somebody is on that type of diet i would suggest that you know i would recommend that they look into those type of supplements obviously before you know talk to the doctor and ask them about that uh but those are things that you should think about you know uh because if you're if you're restricting yourself with a certain dietary plan you have to mm -hmm. your body still needs vitamins and if you mm -hmm. aren't eating those vitamins whether that's what, what, whatever type of vitamin it might be or nutrient it might be you have to supplement it with something whether that be a pill or whether that be the powder um or something to you know keep keep your body moving right you know keep keep the everything flowing correctly and Oxygen. you know you don't you don't want you don't want to get thrown off with you know some something else that you know you should have already had inside your system so mm -hmm. so david um you know i i look at your website which i know we'll, we'll actually we're going to throw up on the screen here in a little bit but um and you do you know uh, virtual workouts uh, obviously in person as well uh what what is your personal philosophy when it comes to uh, motivating, motivating your clientele. I know for, um, for at least myself, and I can't speak for B and her, but you know, for somebody who doesn't have a personal trainer, um, you know, I do understand the benefits of them that the, you know, somebody who can, you know, keep you accountable, who can kind of help correct the things and stuff like that. So how, how do you 
work with your clients to to keep them going to so they don't get burnt out really kind of easily or so that they don't they're not as you mentioned earlier about really just focusing on one side of it which is the workout aspect but kind of failing on the on the nutritional side yeah yeah definitely uh i, I approach it through the the main way i approach it is like i'm i'm almost trying to be like their best friend that is very knowledgeable about the field of fitness that they you know the friend that they never had that you know might have that can tell them the stuff that they're looking looking forward into so whether it be their nutrition or whether it be fitness um you know i'm sending articles or videos you know interesting reads or you know things that i might have learned about from my own experience at the gym or with talking with other you know very knowledgeable trainers i'm sharing that with my clients especially the ones who are interested in the specific goals of losing weight or increasing muscle or a, a specific diet, a specific dietary plan. Like I want them to know more knowledge bases on a, a more a bigger have a better knowledge base on what to do for their set goal. Um, but I also like to kind of you know whether that's actually doing the workout. I want them to have fun. You know, I want them to mm-hmm. sure that they are having some monotonous workout with a quality trainer. Like that's that's a thing. Like there's trainers who are mm-hmm. very knowledgeable who are very experienced but they just don't have the energy you know to or they just aren't like you know upbeat up enough to to keep them <laughs> keep, the, keep the client um so you know some you know just vibing with the person is the most important thing for me and connecting with them and making sure that you know we're on the same page with certain things like i'll admit i haven't i don't i, I can't even though i'm a friendly person i still can't connect with everybody there have been a lot of people who i've talked to who have tried to make clients who just there wasn't a connection right and they weren't mm-hmm. willing to open up enough um so you know it just it wasn't a thing but uh you know once again just it, it's all about being you know with that one person like actually you know with that person even outside of that one hour i'm talking about like for the rest of the time that they want to continue to stay healthy it's not it's not just an hour's worth of me talking to them and giving them a workout routine like i'm talking to them afterwards i'm sending them stuff and i'm also challenging them like hey uh this 5k is coming up in three months so i'm gonna sign up for it and i'm gonna sign you up for it too <laughs> you know i feel like that's uh, what i would need some kind, of, <laughs> some kind of something like that <laughs> yeah you know this is like because ultimately you need, you need that challenge you need somebody to push you you know and mm-hmm. i think if, if it's if you don't have somebody in your circle already to give you that accountability that's why mm-hmm. i step in that's where that's where professional trainer steps in and is your annoying accountability partner saying <laughs> hey where have when how long has it been since you worked out um, what you doing or you trying to get a workout in this week or you know all those things so uh so yeah that's, that's kind of my approach but um I, I i don't know if i went on a tangent but uh the the full approach is like really kind of having like a full body workout routine so that i can mm-hmm. make sure that you know, they hit all the proper, um, you know, muscle groups and making sure everything is, uh, you know, it's, it's clicking on all cylinders. On all cylinders. Mm-hmm. That, that perfect. I know perfect. you also got like a, I know you also got a DJ during your workouts too, man. So yeah. that yeah. right there would yeah. motivate me during <laughs> a full-blown DJ, man. DJ who? <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've, um, so over, <laughs> over this, over this, uh, this stay at home order, I've uh, started to do uh, in home. Obviously, you, you can't go anywhere. Mm-hmm. You couldn't go anywhere. But uh, Zoom workout, and uh, one of my buddies is a DJ, and I was actually actually had two buddies um, who were interested in it. They were DJs who you know they're staying at home too, and they were just using their DJ equipment just to mm-hmm. play around with. You know, they're on Instagram Live or whatever, just because they wanted to play or whatever. And I was like, if y'all just doing that, then let's team up and let you do your thing. You know, scratch and you know put you know, whatever music that you want on mm-hmm. and I'm going to give them a workout, you know? And it was, it was, it's been, nice. it's been pretty good. Yeah. It's been pretty good. A, uh, uh, I have one right now called the house party workout where it's just hip hop sort of ratchet, but not really ratchet, but like it's, it's the type of music that you would hear at a, at a house party. That's my type know, of music. And, so. and, and like <laughs> at that, not, not the house party, not the house party, like in, 
this day. Hey, 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 All hey. Right. hey. Sorry, sorry, Herbert. Sorry. <laughs> hey. I was, I was, I was, Not I, the kid play house party, right? <laughs> like the, like the, not that like the, the, the trap house, <laughs> party, house the, the, party. That's, that's, that's right. That's right. <laughs> I, know, I, know y'all, I know y'all are still young. I know you're young. You have to remind me. <laughs> I, 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 I was talking to my mom. I told my mom. I told her about the house party workout. She was like, "You talking about that? Those are things that we used to do back in the day." I was like, "No, mom. I don't. I don't think not. Not this type of house party workout." Mama. <laughs> Our music, music's a little different from from mm-hmm. how it used to be back in the day. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's real hip hop, by the way. Yeah, so that's okay. But 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 even still, um, I'm I'm also incorporating um uh, coming up this upcoming week. I'm going to start incorporating my own. Uh, so I have uh, set like decade uh, DJs. Mm-hmm. So okay. um, some 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 pre-recorded DJs have um, like nineties, eighties, nice. um, early two thousands. Nice. Uh, oh, the uh, early two thousands. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So uh, so stay tuned for that. I, I haven't I haven't set the uh, the the times up yet, but I'm definitely um, that's that's gonna be like in the upcoming. Okay. And those are all noted. those are all Zoom workouts, right? Those are they're not all, um, play, replay, are they? Nope, they're all Zoom live replay? workouts. Nope. Okay. Yep. I, and it's all body weight at that too. So mm-hmm. Herbert, okay. you talking about talking about you don't know how to do body yeah. weight, like and, yeah. and, the, and the thing is, it's all about it's all about you know working at your own tempo, you know, like and that, I think the good thing about it is because you're not in a group setting, you're not in a in a in the actual room. You don't have yeah, you to don't people feel like pressure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't see yeah. this other person doing burpees all up in there, touching the ceiling and then doing <laughs> yeah. a whole, you know, jumping push up and then you over here trying to like just stand up. You know? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah. There is there isn't that good. <laughs> and Herbert, I, I I hope you don't think I'm trying to like beat up on you right That's now. That's okay, man. <laughs> you beat up on him? What? <laughs> Man, I've been, I've been, I've been calling him out a little bit. I, I, I <laughs> Let me tell you it. something. <laughs> <laughs> He's usually the one beating up on everybody else. <laughs> oh, no. Well, hey. No, I just like to have fun. People yeah. don't think it's funny, but I like to have fun. <laughs> I think it's funny, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. You want to talk about the uh, small business of the uh, of the episode? Absolutely, man. So as y'all know, at the end of every episode, uh, we like to promote a small business within the DMV area. And tonight, the small business is Keegan Fitness. So you can basically promote yourself. Tell us what your um, wonderful right. shirt that we love to get. And then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then uh, you know, just yeah. tell real, everybody what real, your real. website is. What What's our address are. again? <laughs> yeah, all that. All that. Thanks. Uh, do you all mind if I share a graphic? No, go ahead. Sure. All right, real quick. I'm just going to pull this up. Uh, let me know if you all can see this. Yep. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. So uh, this is just an example of the services that I provide. It doesn't have the prices on there. You can go on my website, which is at kingoffit.com at the bottom of this uh, of this shared uh, image to see yes. the actual uh, prices mm-hmm. but uh, this is this is what I this is this is what I do um, I have only been focused on online training right now through I King of Fit that's that's the main focus here because some people are a little a- apprehensive on meeting up in person we can talk in person if you were to reach out to me we can talk in if you live a- around the DMV area closer to like my side or around the southeast side or southwest side and mm-hmm. or closer to uh, the Northwest side of DC, I am willing to meet up in person outside. Um, I'm not currently like traveling to anybody's homes, but uh, doing Zoom workouts is my, is my main way of uh, training individuals. Um, in the private okay. one-on-one, uh, and so along with that, I have a software program uh, that allows me to work with the person. So I not only, you know, do the Zoom workout with them, but I provide a 30-day fitness program. So for however or however long yes. that they, uh, for however packages that they have. So let's say somebody buys a package of eight sessions and that gives us eight weeks of working out. Mm-hmm. Um, I will set up full eight-week fitness plan so that, you know, you can stay accountable even though we might meet up whatever it is once a week, you know, uh, during that eight weeks or twice a week during that time span. So that's based off of, 
once again, um, how long we're training. But there is a, it's, it's through a software. It comes with an app and everything. And that's how I'm, you know, communicating with the individual as well, you know, um, okay. providing them the workout. Uh, and that's also how I uh, track the nutrition. Um, I'll, I'm also a certified nutrition coach outside of my, uh, my exercise credentials. So uh, helping individuals with uh, understanding what's the right things to eat by first having them uh, track their own eating habits by inputting the, the food items similar to my fitness pal, where, you know, you, you can scan the image or you can, you can type it in and it'll pop up, yeah. and, you know, you put your serving sizes in there and, and then I can follow that and see, you know, how, what you've input for the day or for the week or whatever. And we, you know, I follow back up with you and say, okay, so I see you've done this. So let's maybe uh, increase your fiber intake or let's decrease your sodium intake. And here's a suggestion, you know, I will say I'm not a dietitian. All right. So I can't, I, I can't do insurance or I can't, uh, you know, give you a like actual plan, but mm -hmm. I can give suggestions. I can, I can tell you, this is what I would suggest based off of your interest, you know, based off of, you know, mm -hmm. if you're lactose, lactose intolerant or, you know, if you want to be right. vegan or whatever it might be, you know, I'll give them that suggestion. And, you know, it's up to them if they want to do it or not. I'm not going to say this is what you got to do uh, because, you know, this is what you have to, this is what you should be focusing on. Uh, but once again, that's, that's the other portion of the online program. Uh, and then also, so I have my one-on-one uh, portion that I, you know, work, what's going to work with people. But I also, uh, during this time, have been doing the group sessions. So through Zoom workouts. Uh, the house party workout that we just talked about. There's a live DJ, uh, current hip hop music. Once again, trap house if you want to call it that. Whatever. Uh, it's just it's just it's just the music that's gonna get yeah, you hype. You know, as if you're in a house party, the most recent house party, right? Yeah. And and, and, um, and and like I also just mentioned, uh, I call it the decades workout, where uh, I'll be playing music from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s, um, and also a little bit of uh, the 60s, 70s to, you know, and, but it's in a DJ mix. So it's not like the, the song, it's like the DJ mixing it up and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, it's pretty unique. It's, it's definitely an interesting, um, definitely interesting look. And once again, you can find all that on my website. I have to post the, uh, the, the times on there for y'all to see that. But, um, and obviously outside of that, as you can see on the uh, screen, my, I, I am an online nutrition coach. So uh, working with, you know, people from their caloric tracking and, uh, meal suggestions is one thing that you know has honestly i feel like people once once people figure out that they have the way that they've been eating and i and i tell them like maybe let's try a different path um with you know the track that you're interested in like i'm not trying to i'm not trying to say hey you're meat-based so you should try vegetarian and i think that'll work like no i'm not gonna take you off of something that you don't like but i'm one thing I think the, the the best results that I've gotten were people who have really focused in on their caloric intake, the nutritional intake, um, outside of their exercise. So, um, yeah. So once again, once again, you can look at my my website. Once again, at the bottom, www.ikingafit.com. Uh, right. And I guess a little thing, a little thing about ikingafit. I uh, the reason ikinga is a South Af is I'm sorry, West West African term that stands for mm -hmm. a place of strength. And, uh, mm. you know, I came to fit. That's where the whole find your place of strength model came from. Uh, okay. I am West Af I'm of West African descent. I am not full from straight from West Africa, right? Um, but, you know, just from uh, getting to AncestryDNA.com and, uh, nice. and also, Af and also AfricanAncestry.com, like uh, those have told me that, you know, my, my, my roots and I wanted to go even deeper into my roots along with providing, you know, the level of fitness that everybody has. So, um, and where is that at? Where what part of West Africa? Oh, uh, my my heritage. Yeah. I the I can uh, I can uh, name. Yeah. Well, your heritage and yeah, and I can yeah. name. Yeah. So the uh, my my I'm, I'm kind of like a blend of a lot of things from what I had okay. gathered from my from my TNA results, <laughs> um, but. Uh, Primarily was uh, Ghana and uh, okay. the equal culture and the equal culture. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm like from a, Ghana. A, a, Ghana, yeah. So um, and some from uh, there, some part of a, a good majority of my at least my from my father's side, a lot from the Congo as well. So okay. Once again, it's, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a pretty decent blend. Um, unfortunately, you know, I, I wish I knew exactly where 
my family was. So I'm not like right. that full African. But once again, um, this is something that, you know, I want to dig deeper into my own personal culture. And that's why I decided to, you know, establish it like this. So, I can guess um, it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. You're going to encourage me to find out what type of black I am too, man. I think it's extremely important. I think it's extremely yeah. Especially, especially, yeah, I, especially, especially, I think it's today. extremely important for y'all too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you already know what you for, are. For <laughs> I already know. I, I already know where I'm from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think, I, and, you know, I, I don't want to just you know walk around and say I'm African American all day. Yeah. Like, you know, I think right. it's, it's it's a cultural thing that uh, that we have a cultural awareness that we have to uh, come up with. So, so well, yeah. Thank you, man. Uh, Thank you. Thank so that was very, 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 very detailed. I tell you, because like fitness is a tough conversation for a lot of people because they just don't know where to go with it. And so mm-hmm. I hope that this will allow people to get yeah. more educated. And then also if they wanted to connect with you, they have the opportunity to do so. So yep. we're all yeah, a- man. small businesses appreciate and whatnot. So we truly appreciate you coming on and joining us and we hope to have you in the future too again yeah. so i'm here for no and 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 send us a t-shirt man <laughs> <laughs> we always we 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 love a good shirt i gotta, I gotta order some more but hey that, I'm, I'm here for it i'm I, i'm more than well, willing to, uh, you know provide that i'm 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 a i'm, I'm an extra something but not extra small put it that way oh uh, okay <laughs> hello okay <laughs> You know, it might be it might be two X right now. I'm telling you, <laughs> man. You've been out here well, we working out, man. What you talking about? I've been, I've been, yeah, I've been riding my you've bike been, yeah. trying to get my fitness yeah. in. You've been working out there one day. I'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, he yeah. been eating. Yeah, he done. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I like I like a good kebab. I tell you that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Well, thank you, everybody, for joining yeah, us. Thank you. Uh, check us out on at Real to Real on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and iTunes podcast, Spotify. I feel like we're all over the place on Podbean. And uh, until yeah. next, until next time, have a great <laughs> Sunday. Right. Yeah. Hey. All right, man. Appreciate the it. Real to Real podcast is presented by Herbert Williams Beffo and Bianca Miskaitis. Our producer is Ben Runyon. Our technical director is Nick Patry. Audio and video lead is Megan Kotner. If you enjoyed this episode, please follow and like us on Facebook and Instagram at Real to Real and subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podbean, or anywhere else podcasts are found. While you're at it, if you found value in this show, we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes. It's been real with Coach Herb and B.